some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Florida where we discover a soft heart who, well, just has a few screws loose and believes that he is some sort of divine prophet or something like that. And therefore, he doesn't need to have any of the things like driver's licenses, registration, or anything of that nature. And, uh, well, he ends up getting arrested for his trouble. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Does it? Can I open up the door? Hello. Good morning. How are you today? Good. How are you doing? I'm excellent as always. What was that? I am excellent as I am. I'm Corporal Golfshock and Sheriff's Office. The reason I stopped you is the trailer doesn't have a tag and it doesn't appear the lights are working on it. So you're hauling a trailer through the state of Florida and you don't have any working lights on it, you little dim bulb softard. I mean, what if somebody rear ends you because they can't tell you're slowing down? That could be a bit of a problem. But here in a moment, you're going to say that you're not even a citizen of the United States, which probably means that you think you have no responsibility for that kind of thing anyway uh well dude uh you're flat out wrong you gotta have some form of responsibility but of course you soft tards just want to get out of it anyway it's not working the light no yeah right. do you have your driver's license with you i don't have a driver's license no you have a supervisor i i am a supervisor fantastic okay i accept your oath and bond and bind you to them well i appreciate that okay do you have a name or anything to identify yourself i no. no okay so, I'm assuming you're a sovereign citizen? Mm, not really the citizen. But not, not the citizen, okay. Okay. So you don't have any registration paperwork, anything like that? No? Okay. It's a little proud of you, not really no, not I believe that. You seem pretty cool with me, so I'm going to be cool with you, okay? I'm just going to run your VIN, okay? Okay, you don't have anything to identify yourself as? Do you have a... What? It's private. Okay. What's your first name? Private. Private? Okay. What's the name you were born with that you are given at birth? My name is Private. What's your last name? My name is Private. Your name is Private? Okay. Except your open bond and bind okay. them all. Well, Soft Heart, we just can't go ahead and call you Private all day. But I know we can go ahead and call you a private dipshit, considering that what you're doing here is just uh, flat out, well, just a bunch of dipshittery that will get you in jail. And that's what's about to happen to you here in the next few minutes. Appreciate that, but on the state of Florida, you're driving on our roadways. You gotta identify Travel. yourself. Travel. You're traveling behind the wheel of the vehicle. You gotta identify yourself. On the state road, you can go to it's in, so it's an unregistered motor vehicle. In your system, it would be listed that way, perhaps. Okay. Proud. Are you stupid or something? Oh, that's great that you are a private person. But but here's the thing. According to this Florida statute right here, it says everybody shall that's shall register their motor vehicle in the state of Florida. It doesn't matter if you are a citizen or non-citizen, it has to be registered. So even though you consider yourself a non-citizen or whatever that is, you still have to do it. But you know what? You soft hearts think you're something special that you're above the law. Well, you're nothing special and you're definitely not above the law. Take your hands up. for he's going to be sovereign and not identifying himself. Do you have anything on that vehicle as far as an owner? Okay. All right. You want to make this easy on yourself before you end up in jail? Um. I accept the open bond and binding to. Okay. Well, I appreciate you being cooperative. Well, no, I won't say cooperative, but you're calm. I, I appreciate that. I know. It's a peaceful travel. Okay. 
Do I have a right to travel freely? You have to have a driver's license in the state of Florida. I'm not in the state of Florida. Okay, where you are. In the state of and Florida, then, what, what is the state of Florida? Okay, I'm not, I'm not about to go into all that. Okay. okay, so, by Florida State statute, you have to have a driver's license. Correct. To be a driver for okay. the state and of Florida. And you have to have a registered motor vehicle. Which, this is not registered. You don't have a driver's order license. The, in order for the state statute to apply, the word must. That's what that means. Okay. Um, I'm not going to argue. I'm not, I don't want to argue. It's not my first day either. But it's something that we can argue in court. Then. I am not going to court. And I'm, okay. I'm just saying that you take me to a magistrate if you wish, and I'll explain the situation with the magistrate. Okay. Well, do you want to go ahead and do that then? Show me where to go. Okay. I'll travel people in the van. No, the we're not going to go in the van. You know that's not going to happen. No, that's this, not This isn't your first rodeo. It's not my first rodeo. Okay. Okay. So, do you have anything? Do you, where's Where's your sovereign paperwork at? Oh, yeah. Uh, this isn't your first time dealing with a sob card, huh? Uh, yeah, you got to know where that paperwork is at, even though it's completely worthless at any one of these traffic stops. But, hey, it's worth a laugh if you can read it. And that's uh, if you can read it at all, because most of the time it's written in crayon and, uh, well, written by a bunch of people who have uh, severe brain damage. Because I know you usually carry paperwork with you. It's packed in the back. Packed in the back. Do you want to grab it? No, because they don't want to get out. Because I don't trust you and I'm not sure if you're a super Okay, I have two stri stripes. That makes me a corporal, okay? So I am a supervisor on my squad. My sergeant's also coming. If you want to, if you'd like to wait for him, we could. But I guarantee you, he's not going to be as nice as I am. Okay? He's a bigger and meaner guy than I am. You know what nice means? Uh, that means you're being polite and it's not for Just like you. You're being polite, no. right? No. I'm being polite back. Okay. So, I identify myself to you, but you're not going to identify yourself to me. Uh, I'm not aware of or understand any thoughts if I have that one. You are not aware of any law that says you have to identify at a traffic stop. Uh, what kind of lead paint have you been drinking and why has it caused so much brain damage that you are unable to even do the slightest bit of research because, well, just 30 seconds of research will show you that there are statutes in Florida that say you have to identify at a traffic stop. You paint huffing soft hard. I mean, come on now, dude. Get with it. So, okay. Private, I, I stopped you for a lawful traffic stop, which states you must identify yourself. In order to be subject to the jurisdiction. That's what that means. Okay. I'm okay. I'm, 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 so I'm assuming you've been arrested before then. You, you can. I, well, I don't want to purchase any um, low bonds. Those, those, uh, the so there's no commercial benefit to take me to a judge to purchase war bonds. I always do that. Ten or he's just stating his name's private and talking about war bonds. Hey, Sovtart, are you trapped in a time warp or something like that? Because, well, the United States itself has not sold any war bonds since the end of World War II. So this whole issue about, uh, being forced to purchase war bonds at a traffic stop or anything like that. Yeah, that's just more uh, word salad right there that just doesn't make any sense. So why don't you take it back and just throw it in the garbage because that's all it's worth. I don't like to purchase any war bonds. I don't understand anything we're doing. I don't want to participate. Okay. Well, right now you're not free to go. Just so you know that. Okay. What is the cause? My lawful traffic stop. Okay, that's is that legal or law? You are made of stupid. No. <laughs> uh, you know, at least you're. This is bringing light to my day. It it it's, makes it interesting, right? Um, I could bring an amazing amount of light to your day. I'm I'm not a bad guy. I I did I say you were a bad guy? I don't think you are. No. 
I'm not at all. No? But am, am I harming you? No, you're okay. not. Okay. I, okay. Came, I came here on a hunch. Do you have... You came here on a hunch? Yes. Yeah, I don't work in this county. And someone called me and I came here on a hunch. The God said I should go this way. Now here I'm meeting you. So you're a godly maybe, man. Uh, yeah. Maybe I am here to go to you. Do you go to church at all? <sighs> I'm way past that point. Yeah. You like them? Yeah. What was that? If you have any teacher, Bob, you wouldn't believe what it is or what it is. I don't teach it. I don't teach what in church? I'm sorry. I have what? people talking in my ear. Okay. Well, do you do you go out and do you go out and teach the Bible then, or not the Bible, but what you believe in God? Yes. Do you go out and preach that then to other people? Those who come to Yeah. But you don't you don't go to other people though to preach it. You just wait for people to come to you. Okay. Why don't you start your own type of church or something like that then? Uh, you mean like a 508? I don't know. I don't know what a 508 is. And the corpse soul like the Vatican had. Um, that is my plan. And my friend is coming in New York and we're working. Yeah. Where are you originally from? Heaven. From heaven? Heaven said. So you're Jesus. You're risen from the dead and now you're reborn. Yes. Outstanding. Do you know what that means? Nope. Okay. So I Would you want to teach me? I'd be happy to meet with the magistrate. The magistrate completely confident. So who is the magistrate? Whoever you have working in this whole tent that is your magistrate. A bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Ah, so it's not any uh, particular magistrate. It's the magistrate that you can get a hold of in the local area that you can con into thinking that you are a god. Yeah, okay, yeah. Like, that's really going to work. So basically here we've gone from a private dipshit into a uh, dipshit that believes he's some sort of divine entity or something like that a god or prophet uh yeah you've been uh drinking way too much of the lead paint after hours haven't you and i'm guessing a few uh hits of gasoline fumes am i right i don't have any magistrates i don't work for a magistrate i don't know we don't have magistrates here you don't have a magistrate no not on call no well how do you charge anybody without a match we have a judge they didn't call us judge. Okay, fine. Well, yeah. Just like you have laws and whatever the heck you were talking about, we have laws and we have judges. And we have a jury. So, here comes my sergeant. He's got one more strike than I do. Okay. So, he will... Like I said, he's uh, he's probably not going to be as nice as I am. I hope he's more nice than you are. Are you saying I'm not nice? No, not at all. I'm just hoping that he is more than us. I don't know. He's kind of a mean looking guy. Where are we, by the way? We are at 41 in Toledo Blade in Port Charlotte, Charlotte County, Florida, where I have jurisdiction. So this is Mr. Private. Hello, Mr. Private. Sergeant he's, Robert Gay, Shotgun Sheriff's Office. I have a question. He is Sommer. I have a question. He doesn't want to give his name. He says he has nothing to identify himself. Okay. Vehicle's unregistered. Okay. He says he's traveling. Yeah. I'm a non belligerent non combatant private traveler. I yeah. accept your oath and bond and bond. And okay. So, travel for you, have to have a like, you have a valid license? Uh, valid you license. Valid driver's license. No? Okay. All right, does your vehicle register? Okay. 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 Thank you. Told you he's not as nice as I am. All right, stay put. What is your first name? Okay, here, here okay Mr. Private. You're not Mr. You're gonna identify yourself. Whatever. Okay, here. I'm not Private. Here's the thing. I'm not. I'm not. Mr. You're, you're not. You, so you gave me a different name now? I'm not Mr. You gave me a false name. I'm not Mr. You just said you're not Private. No, I'm sorry. No. Okay, Private. So you're gonna step out of the car because you know how this is gonna go. Can I call Private? No. 
Okay. So you can step out. Okay. If you want to step out. Okay. Anything, okay. That, anything I'm doing here is under oh, protest and duress. Okay, okay. that's fine. You're under protest and duress. You're not complying, okay? So I'm oh, no, I'm not. I'm not fighting. Not. I, that's fine. You understand yeah. the difference? Okay. No, I know. Okay. I can see the lock. Yeah. All right. There you go. There we go. Come on out. Perfect. All right. What's your okay. step, sir? What's your step? All my actions are under protest and duress. Okay, All that's right. Right. I accept around for me. Bond and bind. You know. I got it. Told you this could went easy. I don't know why you chose to do this. Does he do what? Uh, I can do it. Do you transport? I'm not sure. I'll do whatever. Yeah. Yeah. When we do transport, do you want to take care of the tow sheet and the report? Yeah, I'll take care of the report. So. All right. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Two zero nine central. Not yes. Okay. Corner. We'll have one ten fifteen under John Doe for now until we get him identified. Well, Mr. Delusional Prophet, uh, God Man, or whatever the hell you want to call yourself. Yeah, when you're traveling through their jurisdiction, through the state of Florida or anything like that, or any other jurisdiction within the United States, you've got to take care and uh, make sure that uh, you are uh, observing the laws. Otherwise, you'll get arrested. But, of course, you know what? I guess you really didn't care because you are, well delusional in the fact you think that you're some form of prophet or a god or something like that. Uh, and I guess it just comes with the territory that you believe you're a soft heart as well. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you playing cereal? Who's that?